Hello, hello, everybody. Good evening. ¿Cómo estamos? ¿Cómo les fue el fin de semana, chicos? Bienvenidos. Hello, teacher. Hello, Brando. ¿Cómo estamos? So far, so good, teacher. So good, right? That's great. That's good from you. Also, right? Okay, perfect. Welcome to this class, guys. Pablo, bienvenido. Welcome. Cristina, also, bienvenida. Vamos a esperar, chicos, porque solo estamos uno, dos, tres. Just three, guys. So we have to wait some minutes more. Just five minutes more, and then we're going to start with the class because we have to give time to the other ones that can connect it, okay? So for a while, I would like to talk to you. Just tell me something about you. Tell me something that you have done, you have passed in your weekend, right? During your weekend, what happened to you? Maybe using the past tense that we already see, that we already learn. So it's your opportunity to practice. You could tell me something, right? Hello, George, bienvenido. <laughs> Sí, no problem, George. No se preocupe, George. I understand that. I see you a little bit busy also, right? You're welcome. Continue. No worries. Okay, guys. Erika, bienvenida. Welcome. Bienvenida, Erika. How was your weekend? Good evening, teacher. How was your weekend, Erika? ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de semana? How was your weekend? It, a good I'm sleep more. Ah, really? <laughs> you just sleep more. You sleep more. That's good. That's good to hear that because you rest a lot. So that means you are going to start the class with energy. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Even though it is Monday, <laughs> okay. Uh, aunque sea, este, aunque es lunes, usted empieza con la energía posible, right? Because you rest a lot. That's sí. <laughs> Qué bueno, Erika, me alegro escuchar que usted descansó. Eso es bueno para todos. Entonces, and you, teacher. En el área laboral. Fíjate que sí descansé. I rest a little bit. And I feel good, right? I feel good because I work I work on Saturday, but I rest on Sunday, right? And I feel good. That's good. Thank you so much for <laughs> asking. <laughs> okay. Edwin, how are you? Como estamos? How was your weekend? Hi, teacher. How was your weekend, yes. Edwin? Como estuvo su fin de semana? I am perfect. Ah, yes. perfect. Okay, thank you. Nice to hear that. Que excelente. Gracias por hoy. Me alegra ver eso. Gracias por decírmelo, right? Okay, que bueno. Me alegro que fue un fin de semana perfecto para usted, Eli. Que me alegro mucho por usted. Y esperando que los demás pues hayan tenido un fin de semana súper, súper nice también, ¿verdad? Escuchamos a algunos de ellos y, y sí la pasaron bien, la mayoría, ¿verdad? Bueno, al menos los que me han estado comentando. Le ha pasado súper bien y eso es bueno para nosotros. ¿verdad? Si ustedes están bien, nosotros estamos bien también, ¿ok? Alex, ¿cómo estamos? Welcome, Alex. Alex. I just get it. Ok, hello, teacher. Ok, no worries. Don't worry. Don't worry, Alex. I understand that. I get it, ¿ok? I see you. Later, study it. Okay, perfect. Good, excellent. No problem. Bye, chicos. Entonces, pues, vamos a ver, faltan two minutes more. Two minutes are missing, so we are going to wait two minutes more. Two minutes more, exactly, right? And then we're going to start with the short review that we are going to make before we start with the new topic, right? Vamos a ver who is writing right now, guys. Oh, it's in the teacher's groups. So, it's not here. So, can you tell me something? I would like to see you guys. I would like to see you. Please connect your camera.
One minute more. Hello, Nancy. Welcome. Hello, Salvador. Welcome. How was your week, guys? Your weekend, guys? It was good. It was more or less. It was so so. It was great. It was excellent. It was so happy. It was what? A little bit stressful. A little bit busy, right? You can use those vocabulary words or those adjectives to describe your weekend, right? Remember that it's your opportunity to how you practice your vocabulary words. And it is important that you try as much as you can, right? If you want to develop your fluency, you have to do it, right? It's like a command. It's like an obligation, right? That you have to do it because you have to pass the line between I don't want to speak and I want to speak, okay? And it's a line that you have to pass it in, but you have to do it by yourself, right? Okay, it's just my advice, guys, okay? But if you don't want, that's no problem, right? But you have to try. Vamos a ver, let's see who else is connected right now. Hello, Rachel, welcome. Nice to see you again. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How was your weekend? Uh, good. Good? Really? Good, good? Are you yeah. sure? Ay, that's great. That is good, right? Me alegro, Rachel, que estuvo bien su fin de semana. Espero que el próximo esté mucho mejor, ¿ok? It's better okay. than this one, ¿ok? You're welcome. Eh, bienvenida, ok, vamos a ver quién más, cuántos estamos ahorita, ah, ok, ya son seis minutos pasadas las ocho, chicos, entonces vamos a empezar, ok. Vaya, vamos a ver, voy a abrir la lista, primero que todo voy a pasar a por si no se me olvida, voy a abrir la lista, de un chancecito y ya regreso. No se le escucha, teacher. <risa> Está hablando solo ahorita porque estoy buscando la lista. <risa> yo ni a ver si ya está pasando la lista. Yo no... <risa> Ay, no. Bueno, niños, ok, hoy sí. Alex Enoch Ramírez Salazar. Ana Lisette Pérez Colindres. Ana Raquel Campos Ayala. Presente, chat. Thank you. Brandon Alexis Velázquez Ayala. Here, teacher. Eh, Cristina Beatriz Rivera Carav de Caravantes. Present teacher. Thank you, Cristina. Daniel Ernesto. Thank you, Cristina. Venezuela. Erika Lisset Ayala Ramos. Fabiola. Ok, thank you, Erika. Fabiola Giselle Molina Saavedra. Francisco Ernesto González Boquín. Present teacher. Thank you. Italina Castro. Jennifer Guadalupe Rosales. Jorge Alberto Laínez Díaz. Ok, thank you, Jennifer. Jorge Alberto. Ok, thank you. José Edwin Escobar Posada. Thank you. Karen Arely Torres García. Luis Eduardo Reyes. 
Nancy Carolina Saldaña Membreño. Present teacher. Thank you, Nancy. Nelson Arnoldo Revillaga Quintanilla. Oscar Daniel Castillo Ramos. Pablo Adalberto Juárez. Present teacher. Thank you. Salvador Wilfredo Cerón Palacios. Present teacher. Thank you. Teresa de Jesús Ramos Santos. Ok, perfecto. Bye, niños. Entonces, esta es la primera lista, chicos, y los demás, pues, esperemos que se puedan conectar a lo largo de la clase y, pues, se quedan para la segunda. Ok. Este día, chicos, vamos a, primero, a hacer la review para ponernos en sintonía de lo que estuvimos viendo y, pues, entrar al nuevo tema, ¿verdad? Aunque okay, este temita es algo cortito y ya más o menos lo manejo, ¿verdad? Porque anteriormente ya lo habíamos visto. Pero este, el programa nos lo pide, así que vamos a hacerlo de nuevo y vamos, pues nos va a ayudar para retocar, ¿verdad? Y para poder completar el uso de él, ¿verdad? Ok, bueno, chicos, la clase de la semana pasada estuvimos hablando de qué. A ver, ¿qué me dice? Always you have to remember to me because I tend to forget it, ¿ok? So, I would like you to remember to me, but try to do it in English, ¿ok? Try to do it in English. A little bit that you speak is a lot for me, okay? A lot. Okay, go ahead. Hablamos de la diferencia del was y el didn't. El was, el wasn't y el didn't. Okay, we were talking about the difference between was and wasn't, did and didn't, right? Okay, perfect. Thank you so much, Cristina Beatriz. Who else? Yes, no question, teacher. Okay, we were talking about yes, no questions forms. Uh huh, a little bit, right? Uh huh, what else? ¿Qué más? Who else? You want, you can take notes, okay? You can read your notes, please. You check your notes. There is no problem, okay? The things that I want is you to remember what we were discussing the last time because now we are going to introduce another topic that is related with the topics that we were discussing before. So that means it is important that you have to remember that, okay? To start the okay. other one. The past simple tense. Ok, de simple past tense. Muy bien, Alexis, excelente. Thank you so much. Who else? The might and it. Ok, might and may. Ajá, eso, eso fue the last, last week, right? Ok, perfect. No worries. That's great. Thank you. Ajá, who else? Was and were. Ok, was and were. Bye. Entonces, estábamos viendo la semana pasada más que todo el uso del pasado, ¿verdad? En cuanto a los verbos, la forma afirmativa y la forma negativa, ¿verdad? Que estábamos viendo, pues, la semana pasada, el último día fue viernes, right? El viernes estábamos hablando acerca de lo negativo, right? Negative form y también estábamos hablando de los statements, pero utilizando el was y el were, o sea, el verbo to be. Y hablamos de las diferencias, ¿verdad? De cuándo vamos a hacer nosotros una pregunta con did y cómo lo vamos a responder y cómo vamos a utilizar la pregunta con was o were y cómo se va a responder dicha pregunta también. Ok, vaya. Miren, ese día pues tenemos lo que es las questions also, right? 
But now we are going to talk about just questions we did and also WH4. Remember that there are some questions that they don't need WH4, but there are another questions that need that, that things, right? Or that word, or those words, right? Because it's necessary that because of the type of the questions that you are making, right? For example, if, if you are talking about an estate or something that be being something, right? For example, was you in the house yesterday? ¿Suviste tú en la casa ayer? Ese es otro tipo de pregunta, okay? Did you make the homework? ¿Hiciste la, la tarea? Yes, no. And those are questions that are respond with short questions, with short answers, right? Esas preguntitas se pueden responder con respuestas cortas de sí o no. Por eso se les llama yes, no questions. ¿Ok? ¿Es clear? Pero ahora bien, tenemos las otras. We have the other ones that are with WH words. ¿Y what are the WH words? ¿Cuáles son las WH words? A ver qué se recuerda. Who remember that? ¿Cómo? When. Ok, when. What. What. what who. Who. who where, why. Where. When. Why. Why. Muy bien. Who. How. ¿Verdad? How. That is cry a process, right? Remember that there are different kind of WH words. Some of them are used to describe things, right? And questions in general, but there are another ones that are more specific. For example, we have the word why, that is for making questions that are, that you are going to give a reason why you make something or why you, why you do something, right? But there are another ones that where you are going to specify the place, the date, or you are going to specify the process that you follow to get that. For example, we have how, that is for describe a process, why, for describe a reason, why, also, right, and was, where, to describe a place, right, and when, to describe a date, or a year, maybe, right? And they are questions that are for a specific information or personal information. They used to ask for this, for that, right? And they are answers by saying more than one word. So that means you are not going to answer with yes, no. You are going to answer for more than one word. For example, why did you do that? Okay, por qué hiciste eso? Ah, because it's necessary for to learn English, because I had to learn more fast. So that means I try to speak or I try to practice alone uh, before I start the class and so on, right? You are explaining why you make an action or why you study before to start the class. So you're going to give in a reason to someone else, okay? So it's more than one word. It is not yes or not. It's more than what word. You're going to display that, okay? So that's the difference between yes, no questions and WH questions or information, or specific information questions, okay? But in this case, we are going to do it in the past, okay? How we are going to make that? So we are going to use the auxiliary verb did. We are going to use the subject. We are going to use the complement. We are going to use the questions mark. And before the subject, we are going to use the auxiliary verb. Or we are going to use also the WH word to describe what you are asking for, okay? For example, we have this. We are going to share the screens and we are going to start with the explanation. Okay, today is August 28, 2023. And our topic for today is simple, right? simple past question forms, okay? Or a specific information questions in this case, right? And for our vocabulary words, we have this one. But I would like you to tell me if you don't understand any vocabulary words that you have here, or you understand all the vocabulary words that you have here. Or there are some words that you don't know, right? Before to start with the explanation.
So you have questions about the vocabulary words? Guys? Questions so far? No? Okay, so yeah. let's go. Oh, dime, tell me. Tell me. Teacher, DM. What does it mean in details? What does it mean? Details. Details are the ones that you use to explain something, right? You are going to give some details to explain what you are going to do. Vas a dar algunos detalles de lo que vas a hacer o cómo lo vas a hacer. Details significan detalles. Thanks, teacher. Okay, perfect. So, someone else that has one of the questions about the vocabulary words? What is the meaning of fix? Fix, okay. Fix is when you, it's like, to say that you are going to repair something, right? For example, I have to fix my car. So what I'm saying, I have to fix my car. So it's, it's like you say repair. What is repair? Es como decir voy a reparar. Okay, I have to fix my car. Okay. Tengo que reparar mi carro, right? Reparar, llenar, ajustar, something like this, right? That's the I meaning. It depends on the context that you're talking about. That is the meaning that you're going to use with fix, right? Another question? Another question? Or oh, other questions? No question. Questions? Okay, perfect. Someone else? Again, Max? Ese ya les puse. Payroll system, sistema de pago, forma de pago, right? Because it was a little bit... Como les diría... Waiter, algo extraño, raro, right? Que me, pare... me apareció el vocabulario y... y lo busqué y me apareció otra cosa, pero no lo puse. ¿Cómo? Question, George? Perdón, me quedó el micrófono, que no moví el teléfono. Ah, ok, perfecto, no problem. ¿Alguien más que tenga preguntitas, chicos, acerca del vocabulario? No? Ok, perfecto. So let's repeat it, guys, ok? So we are going to start. Ok, breath, and we are going to start. Cars engine. Repeat, everybody. Cars engine. Cars engine. Cars engine. Cars engine. Cars engine. Besides all that. Besides all that. all that. Okay. Besides all, all that. Besides, besides all, that. all that. A veces se escucha como que dicen besides all that, right? Besides all that. Como que la S se une con la pronunciación de all y así. Entonces usted tiene que practicar los linkings. ¿sí? ¿Y cómo lo va a hacer? Tratando de decirlo más rápido, tratando de que las palabras se unan, ¿verdad? los sonidos de la última con la primera y la siguiente. ¿okay? Besides all that. So we have fix. Repeat after me, please. Fix. 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 Details. 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 Payroll system. Payroll, Payroll system. system. Payroll system. Payroll system. Payroll system. Payroll system. Excellent. Inconvenience. 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 Okay. Another. 
Another. Another. Another. Others. Other. Others. Others. Honest. 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 Considering. 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 Oiganme, el sonido sale de acá. Como que se dice. La chabra. Como que va a arrancar. Eso, es que los dedos salen de la garganta como abierta, ¿verdad? Algo así es esto, ¿verdad? Usted tiene que poner el, el toque, el caché, como dice. Usted no practica. I know, that's great. That's funny, right? Well, yeah, that, that's good for that, right? For that purpose. Okay, so let's start, guys. So today we're going to talk about questions. With that specific information questions using simple plus okay so what we have here as i told you before we have did in the uh, normal questions in past this is the structure right did plus the subject plus the verb plus the complement plus the question mark and some examples for that is this one did, did i need a ticket necesito un ticket Did she live in Japan? Ella vivió en Japón. Vaya, pero esas son las preguntas normales del simple past. Las que se responden con sí o no. Yes, no questions. ¿Ok? Que, que claro, ahora vamos a la diferencia de lo que vamos a ver ahora. ¿Ok? Ahora vamos a ver specific information questions using simple past. ¿Y cuáles son las preguntas para dar la, la, la información específica? Son aquellas que utilizamos con las WH words. ¿Y cuáles son las WH words? Decíamos when, where, what, why, how, etcétera, etcétera, etcétera. Right? There, is, there, is more, there are more words, but here we have just those words but you can use more okay it depends on what you are talking about or you are asking about right <clears throat> and here we have some examples this is the structure that we are going to follow to make a specific information questions using simple past for example we have the question <clears throat> the wh words plus the auxiliary did plus the subject plus the verb or the main verb plus the complement, plus the question mark. Remember that if you don't use the question mark, it's not a question, Celine. So you have to follow the structure, okay? <clears throat> and so we have some examples here. We have, when did you arrive? Cuando tú llegas, ah, I arrived in the morning at 6 p.m., ta, 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 then, then I went to, what? To eat something, and then I arrived my home, right? So it's a question that you are going to give more information. You're not going to say, yes, yes, I did, or no, I didn't, right? So you're going to extend your answer. That's the difference, okay? Keep in mind. Another example is this one. Where did they go? ¿Dónde llegó él? ¿O dónde fue él? ¿Dónde fue? Ah, he went to the beach and then he went to his home to share with his family, etc., 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 right? Why did she leave early? Porque ella salió temprano. Porque ella salió temprano. A ver qué me dice. Generalmente las, las preguntas con la palabra why siempre se responden con because. Because you are going to give a reason. Porque usted va a dar la razón por la cual se dio la acción. Okay? So, what did she leave early? Ah, because she need to get early to her work. Because she has a meeting. Because he need to make or order some papers. He, she need to send some email before the meeting or order something before the meeting. So you are giving a reason, right? And you are using the word because. And what is because? Porque tal, tal, tal cosa, okay? That's the meaning of the word because, okay? 
And generally you use it with the word why or the questions that have the word why. Okay, it's clear? You have any qu any questions about that? No question. Okay, it's clear the difference between the simple questions, yes, no questions, right? And the specific information questions using past or simple past. It's clear the difference when you are going to use this and when you are going to this. Use use this. Okay. Okay, perfect. Let's do it, guys. Bye. Ahorita vamos a la práctica. Vamos a ver. Vamos a escribir algunos ejemplos. Okay. We are going to write some examples. Examples. Okay. Okay. Just tell me some examples. Let's talk about things that happened in the past using a specific information question with simple pass. Okay. Give me some examples, please. Okay, for example. Why did he don't go why to work? did he did... do? Remember that here we have an, an auxiliary verb, so that means we don't need to give the past to the verb. Okay. Why did he do what? Not go to work. Why he didn't work? O cómo, o cómo es la pregunta, Alex, Alexis. ¿Por qué él no fue a trabajar? Ah, okay. So we are going to use the negative form. Okay. Why? Why he didn't? Or why didn't he work? Why didn't he? work why he didn't why didn't he go to work esas son preguntas en negativo ok why didn't he go to work porque él no fue a trabajar ah because because what because he get up ok got up yeah. Porque él se levantó tarde, ¿verdad? Late. Yeah. Ok. Late because he got up late. Ok. Remember that because, here. Uh -huh. Because he, he feels sick. Because. No puede ser otra razón. Because he felt sick. Right? Felt sick. Remember that in the answer. Because it's a affirmative sentences, you are going to use what? You are going to use the verb in past, okay? In this case, right? Why didn't he go to work? Porque él no fue a trabajar, okay? Oh, okay. Because this is this, this. Okay, another example, guys. Number two. Puede ser esa teacher, when did you go? To the doctor. Okay, when did you go to the doctor? ¿Cuándo fuiste al doctor? ¿Cómo sería la respuesta, chicos? I went last Friday.
Okay, I went to, I went to the last, okay, to the last Friday. Yo fui el pasado viernes, okay? Perfect, excellent. Another example, guys. Uh, why is she sick? Ah, vaya, esa. Why was she sick? ¿Por qué ella estuvo? ¿Qué? ¿Por qué ella estuvo enferma? Ah, because she... She got a lot of stress, right? Maybe could be a reason, right? Ah, another example. Because she got a lot of stress the last week, maybe, right? Number four, another example, guys. When did you? When did you go for the weekend? Where? Where or okay, where is la cosa? Where did you go for the weekend? For the week or the last weekend, verdad? In este caso, acuérdense que una time expression last weekend. ¿A dónde fuiste el fin de semana pasado? Ah, I went what? I went to the mountains. The mountain. I went to the mountain. Ta 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 ta, right? Mountain. Another example? When did you last go to the cinema? ¿Cómo fue, Rachel? La escuché, perdón. When did you last? You last go to a dónde fue el qué? No sería you last you last go to the cinema. Eh, I, I, I don't... Creo que el last... ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que hiciste el cine? Ah, creo que eso. ok. Creo ya que eso. When... Entonces es con was. Acuérdense que eso es un estado. When was the last time... The last time... Did you... You go to the cinema. ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que usted fue al cine? Que tú fuiste al cine. Vaya, acá tenemos un, una cuestión. Acá tenemos dos preguntas en uno. Quiere decir que es una compound question in this case, right? Bueno, ¿Cuándo fue la última vez? Do you, did you go, you, you go to the cinema? Ah, you went to the cinema in this case, right? Did you go to the cinema in this case? Porque estamos preguntando, ¿cuándo fue la última vez? ¿Y cuándo tú fuiste al, 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 
al cine, but in this case we are going to omit. No, aquí vamos a omitir el did. Espera, que me estoy chulando. You go to the cinema. Tú, to you went, en este caso. You went the cinema, porque tenemos dos verbos. En este caso estamos utilizando was y estamos utilizando el verbo go. Pero en este caso el was no afecta al... al al, al, al verbo es porque son dos oraciones en una. When was the last time you went to the cinema? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que tú fuiste? ¿Qué tú fuiste? Okay, vamos a ver. That. You went to the cinema. Tú fuiste al cine. Okay? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que tú fuiste al cine? When was the last time you went to the cinema? ¿Ok? O oh, sí. Uh. Me la puse difícil, Rach. Ok, vamos. Siguiente, next. When did you like chicken? Negativa la dijo, ¿verdad, George? Didn't, didn't, yes. Ok, didn't. perfecto. Why didn't you like chicken? Chicken. Chicken, ok, perfect. Why didn't you like chicken? ¿Por qué no te gustó el, por qué no te gustó el pollo? Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Respuesta? Because I am... Uh, vegetarian. Mm -hmm. Because I'm vegetarian. Uh -huh. Another example. Why well, this listen music? Music romantic. Why this you like romantic music? music? Okay, romantic music. Why did you like romantic music? Porque le gusta la, la, la música romántica. Because it mm -hmm. relaxes. Relax. Okay, because it's relax. relaxing. Porque es relajante, relaxing. Ok, aquí se podemos ocupar el ING porque lo vamos a ocupar como adjetivo, right? No como un verbo. Ok, bye. It's clear how you are going to use this kind of questions. And what's the difference between the yes, no questions, simple pass, and a specific information questions using the simple pass? Guys. Yes, teacher. Ok, perfecto. Vale, mira. Vamos. Entonces, acá, mire, ahorita no los tengo práctica. Ahorita vamos a trabajar en el manual porque en el manual está la práctica. Ok. Y como es un tema pequeño, lo vamos a trabajar así. Vaya. Vale. Vamos a abrir el manual en la página 32, si fai no mistake. Open your uh, manual in page 32, please. I'm going to try to share the screen also, right? Mm -hmm. Thirty-two, right? Thirty-two. Okay, bye. La, la clase pasada nos quedamos en esto, ¿verdad? Estamos haciendo lo que es la short conversations and you were adding your own information in this case, right? And you were telling me some examples during the class and also because of the time we finish, okay? But okay, now we are going to continue in the page 33, okay? So in this case, you are going to ask questions. You are going to, what questions do you generally ask a customer to confirm information you know? 
¿Qué pregunta generalmente utiliza para confirmar es la información que el cliente le ha dado, tal vez en algún pedido, tal vez en alguna información que usted le ha pedido para llenar algún formulario o something like this, right? Ajá, ¿cuál es la, la pregunta que generalmente hacemos? Recuerden que en, esa, en ese aspecto vamos a hacer lo que es las polite questions, right? And what are the auxiliary words or the, este, the helping words that you're going to use when you are going to make polite questions? Guys, Teacher, repeat the question, please. Okay, what questions do you usually or generally generally ask a customer to confirm your, the information you know? Es esta que está acá, miren. ¿Cuál es la pregunta que generalmente utilizan digamos, cuando usted va a confirmar el pedido o cuando usted va a confirmar una orden o cuando usted va a confirmar este, una información que usted necesita para llenar un formulario o something like this, right? ¿Cuál sería la pregunta? A ver, ¿a quién, quién, a quién, quién me la dice? Entonces estaría equivocado, pero será en que puedo ayudarme. Uh, mm, bueno, cuando ya tú sabes la información y tú quieres confirmar esa información, ¿cuál es la pregunta que tú haces? Are you sure? But that's in forma. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry because I, 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 I... Es una es una es una respuesta. Sí, sí, sí. Teacher. Okay, remember that you are going what to. What is use the question? Polite. What is the question, teacher? Okay, what questions do you use? Do you generally ask a customer to confirm information you know? Dice que cuál es la pregunta que tú harías generalmente para no cuál es question ajá uh -huh. para preguntar customer what is el cliente ah uh, la pregunta que harías al cliente para confirmar la información que ya que sabes tú, que ya sabes ah uh, repeat after repeat please the information ajá uh -huh. could you repeat the information could you, could you repeat uh, yes, yes. Could, could you repeat the information please uh -huh. Could you repeat the information to validate the information? Could be, right? Okay, remember that cool is for polite questions when you are going to treat or you are going to talk with a, with a customer or client, okay? Remember that. Always you have to be polite, okay? <laughs> could, should, would, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, right? That's a healthy verse that you are going to use in a polite form, okay? Excellent! You have got 10, okay? Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Vamos, niños. Vamos. Eh, read Mr. Mendoza and Mr. Torres. Describe their experience with two different companies. So what we are going to do, we are going to read these short articles, right? Short readings. And you are going to discuss what they are talking about later, okay? But first of all, we'd like to give you 10 minutes to read it. And then we are going to talk about that, okay? Go ahead.
Teacher, I have a question. <clears throat> Entiendo que MRS, NRS, se refiere a señores, Mendoza, Vaya, este, a una familia. esta es para una mujer que Ah, es Miss. no, Miss es para señoritas. Ah, ah ok, ok, ok. Mrs. con double, double S, right? Solo double S, right? Es para eh, las chicas que están casadas. Para no mistake, right? No, este es para las que están casadas, ok? Mr. Mr. Mendoza, right? Ah, misters. Para Ah, entonces las señoras, se refiere a la señorita. misters, Mr. no. Misters. Miss es para señoritas que no están casadas, están solteras. Mr. es para las, señor las señoras que ya están casadas. Y Mrs., Mrs., con, como con Z, son para las señoras que tú ves que ya están un poquito mayor si está arriba de los 30, pero no sabes si están casadas o si están solteras. Ah, Mrs. Mrs. Y dices Mrs., right? Mrs. Y este es Mr. Este es para los chicos, para los señores. Claro, claro, claro. Entonces, lo de la casada que es, eh, eh, sería esta opción, la de la casada, Mendoza. Sí, exacto. That's the Misher, Misher. Misers. 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 Mm -hmm. Misers, ok. Good. This is the title that you're going to use to refer to someone else, right? That you don't know if it is. For single, right? In this case, that you are going to use Mrs. or Mrs. or Miss, right? You can use in the case of the men, you are going to use Mr. and Sir. Also, you can use Madame. But that's otro pisto, como es. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Daniel, Danielito, is, are you there? Yeah. Yes. Tell me. Tell me. Are you working? Yeah. The other book. Yeah. Yeah. I know. And that. the hunger is, is, is sad. <laughs> the hunger. Are you working on the hunger? Uh, I'm helping the hunger. Ah, okay. Much. Oh, no. <laughs> Hi, Daniel. You are so special, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, I know that. <laughs> I know. Sorry. No, este curso así no, no, no se ha divertido. No, just. I'm so sad. Estoy triste. Requete triste. Requete triste. No, qué bárbaro. Y falta una semana todavía más. Falta una semana, sí. One week is missing yet. Yeah. La otra todavía. The sí. first week to September. Sí, terminaríamos el día martes, ¿verdad? De la otra semana, creo yo. ¿Verdad? Sí, yo creo que el martes terminamos, chicos, exactamente. El martes de la otra semana. If I no mistake. Si no estoy equivocado. No. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Y yo decía que toda la semana dice Daniel. No, pero ya vamos a abrirlo, no te preocupes. Tal vez ya estás en la casa de nuevo. No more, que no more, 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 no
Estírese, relájese, respire. Ajá. Escucha, no puede hacer todavía, el, el, no puede terminar eso que me dijo el de el, el Good Life, parece que me dijo. No me lo agarra siempre igual. El Would Like To. Ya. Yeah. Le puso Would Like To. Um, I wouldn't like to in this place. I guess it is like this. I guess it is negative, but I don't remember. Uh, uh, I agent too. I am hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't like to stay in this place. I guess that is that is like this. But you had to notice if you don't have left some spaces okay between the letters or the words and also you have to be careful with the apostrophe the apostrophe doesn't have to be in these forms you have to be like this right right okay so be sure of that and i guess it is the answer right to that <laughs> to that problem right if it is like, yeah. like this, we are going to consult ah. the other one. So we are going to check it in the game, okay? Okay. Okay, no problem. Thank you. You're welcome.
finish. Guys, finish. Yes. Hello. Okay, perfect. So let's talk about those readings, right? What is about the first one reading? And what does the first reading about? It's a bad experience. Uh huh. Bad experience. Uh huh. What happened with with him? Mr. Mendoza. Oh, okay, in this case, it's Mr. Because I put Mr. He has a problem with the pyro system. Uh huh. He has a problem but, with the pyro system. But the technical. Uh, the technical help to. To... Niños, pero aquí le han puesto Mr. Mendoza. Quiere decir que tendría que ser una... Una, una mujer. Ah, una mujer, ok. Una mujer. Okay. He even sí, que está hablando, ah, de, que está hablando, está hablando del otro. técnico. Sí, ya me había estado. Por eso decía niños. Sí, porque dice aquí. Dice... Ok, and no. she's, she's talking about the technical... Eh, yeah. What well, personal, right? <laughs> Okay, ya estaba a mí de nuevo. ¿Cómo que se se algo reporta? Okay, ajá. She has a problem with the payroll system. Ajá. ¿Qué pasó con ella? But, What happened with she? With her? But the technical, he solved it, but he tried, uh, but. Ah, okay. So, so he treated her bad, right? He treated it not in a kind way. Ella la, él la trató él no en una manera amable, ¿verdad? O en una forma amable, sino que fue pésimo, ¿verdad? Right? Ajá, ¿y qué más pasó? He, he even charged... He uh, had a problem. Okay. Ajá, incluso él le, le, le cobró por la pieza que él quebró, ¿verdad? ¿Verdad? Yeah, se, lo, he, se lo cargó, uh -huh. He gave a he, copy. He came uh, very late. He came very late. Ajá. Uh -huh. Also, he called very late, come, right? I come late. Um, he came very late, right? Yeah, that's it. Okay, right. perfect. Thank you so much. That's good, Alexis. Ahora vamos con la siguiente reading. ¿Qué pasó en la siguiente reading? And he has a problem with the card. Mm -hmm. And the motor, assistant. Brother. Yeah. With the cards engine. Mm -hmm. And the mechanic, uh, he was really kind. Oh, okay. This is the contrary, right? He was really yeah. kind. And the other one, he, he was really, what? Not kind, right? <laughs> okay. No, no amable, right? <laughs> the contrary, right? Okay. So uh, what happened with the other? Aparte uh, que fue has... muy amable, huh? ¿Qué pasó con el otro? ¿Qué, qué más pasó? Aparte que fue muy amable el chico, ¿qué más hizo? He was there really fast. Él reparó el auto muy rápido, ¿ok? Muy bien, sin ningún problema, ¿verdad? O reparó el problema del carro muy rápido, ¿ok? ¿Y qué más? He detailed about the incident. Ajá, incident. He gave me details about the incident. ¿Y qué significaba details, decíamos? Detalles. 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 Detalles, me detalló perfectamente o oh, es exactamente cuáles fueron el problema o cuál fue el incidente. Y le dio un reporte también. Ajá, y le dio un reporte de él. Ok, muy bien. ¿Y qué más? 
ella, él probó el carro, ¿verdad? Y fue perfecto, ¿verdad? Perfecto. Él yeah. probó el carro y todo funcionó a la perfección. Ok. So, he has a, he had a good experience. And she had a bad experience. Ok. The contrary, right? Ok, perfect. Thank you. Vamos a ver, chicos. Muy bien. Read the information again to answer the questions and compare with a partner. Did Mr. Mendoza have a problem with a method of payment? Yes or not? Yes. Yes, right, but try to extend your answer, okay? Traten de extenderse en la respuesta. Yes, she did because she ella lo tuvo, por qué, ta, 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 ta. Vamos a extenderlo a la respuesta, okay? Tratemos de extenderlo para ir un poquito más allá y ir practicando con el inglés, okay? Is clear? Vamos. Did Mr. Mendoza had a problem with a method of payment? Yes, she did. Yes, Why? She did. Why? Yes, she did have a problem payroll system because. Uh -huh. Yes, she did because. Uh, yes, she did. Mm -hmm. Yes, because, she did because. Uh -huh. ¿Por qué? He, because he broke a, a piece. Uh -huh. He broke the pieces of the car, right? And he charged her, the... okay? Ella se lo, él se, se lo cobró. He charged her, uh -huh. ¿y qué más? Because he forgot to mention that he can, okay? Because he didn't understand it, right? Because he didn't give a report or a copy of a report. But él no le dio una copia del reporte ni un ningún reporte, verdad? Y él no le entendió nada, ajá. Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Vamos. Alguien más si quiere dar o quiere practicar. Vaya, cuando vamos a explicar una razón, puede, usted puede utilizar los detalles que tiene acá en la, en la reading. ¿Ok? Ah, sí, porque miren, ella tuvo un problema del sistema de pago porque el técnico vino a ayudarle este, con, con el CAR, pero, no lo, pero resolvió el problema, pero no le dijo nada y también le cargó una pieza que él mismo quebró y así sucedió. Usted puede replicar lo que dice la reading, ¿ok? Para explicar la razón por la cual ella tuvo una bad experience. Lo único que usted va a agregar al principio, ¿verdad? La palabra because. Cuando estemos hablando de la pregunta why. ¿Ok? ¿Es clear? Ok, let's see with the number two. Did Mr. Torres call his best friends for help? Yes or not? No. No, no he didn't. No, he didn't. No. Muy bien, excelente. ¿Por qué no lo hizo? Why he didn't do it? Because. Call the A problem mechanic. with the car engineer. Ajá, uh -huh, because he called the mechanic. Ajá, uh -huh, porque llamó el mecánico and he was there really fast, right? Y él estuvo ahí muy rápido. Mira, aquí podemos tomar este detalle y ya nos sale la respuesta. Because he was there really fast and he was quick to fix the car problem. He gave the details about the incidents and he gave her, him the reports of it. So it was not necessary that he called her his friend, right? In this case, this case. No fue necesario que sure. él llamara a su amigo, okay? Uh -huh. I have a question. Tell me, Alex. Uh, I start start or start and I, uh, I start uh, what what is the meaning I study study is the start yo empecé right I studied studied in past right yo empecé start is in, is in present and you study 
is in past. Re re remember the, the, the pronunciation? Sí, es que no, no, recuerdo, no, no recuerdo el significado por eso. Ah, aquí, aquí es, yo empecé, eh, ¿qué? Dice, yo arranqué, ¿verdad? En este caso, empezó o arrancó. Arrancó el motor y todo estuvo perfecto. Ok, gracias. Uh -huh. Esto va a significar diferente dependiendo del contexto que usted lo utilice. Aquí significa arrancar. Es lo mismo que empezó, ¿verdad? Yo empecé a hablar, yo empecé a tratar, yo empecé a como a... a o oh, el, el motor empezó, ¿verdad? A trabajar en este caso. Pero está tácito, por eso que se dice encender, encender perdón. ¿Ok? That's the confusion. <laughs> Guys, tell me something. <laughs> No me gusta cuando se quedan en silencio, niños. I don't like that. Está, está, está muy callado. Tal yes. vez hicieron algo malo. A little silent, right? I don't know, maybe because I'm, I'm, start, I'm starting to speak just more more in English, right? I guess it is for this reason, but I'm not sure. You tell me. Do you feel comfortable when I talk in English right now? Or did you understand what I'm saying? Be sincere, right? Creo que es por el manual. Por eso está muy <laughs> molesto. <laughs> but it's necessary because we have to check it. Remember that this is English for work. So it's a specific vocabulary words for work. So in this case, we have to use it. We have to know more vocabulary words about that kind of things, right? So that is why we have to use it. I know that you like the practice. I know that you like, but that's general, okay? In general, it's not a specific English. So it's necessary that you know it too. That is why I mix and I combine those, those things, right? Por eso me gusta mezclarlo y me gusta combinarlo, ¿verdad? Tanto esto como esto, porque en realidad tendríamos que solo ver el manual que es más específico para inglés, para el trabajo. Porque es un inglés ya referido al trabajo. Y es el vocabulario que usted tiene que aprender. Pero I know, right, that is a little bit boring, that you feel that you are like this. And so I, I tend to, or I try to mix those things, right? The general knowledge with the specific knowledge. Okay. Trato de combinar el, el conocimiento general con el conocimiento específico, ¿ok? Para no aburrirlos, porque sé que a veces tenemos aburrirlos con la misma cosa, ¿ok? Entonces, ni modo, hay que mezclar, ¿ok? La vez pasada tuvimos esto, mañana tendremos algo diferente, ¿ok? I promise. <ríe> ok, so let's continue. How to use simple past yes, no questions. That is the ones that we were discussing the last Friday, right? In this case, here we have a... a a uh, brief explanation of what they are about, right? You already know that you are going to use did for making normal questions in past tense that are answered in yes or not, okay? Specific. It's not a specific term. It's general information, short questions, short answers, right? And what we are going to do, we are going to create yes, no question based on the answer that you have here or provided, right? For example, we have, yes, I did, I sent the email. What was the questions? Or what is the questions that belongs to it? this answer? ¿Cuál es la, la pregunta que, que pertenece a esta respuesta? I did send the email. Did I send the email? Did I send the did email? I send the email? Yes, I did, I sent the email, right? So, and so, that's what you are going to do, okay? Eso es lo que van a hacer. Usted va a leer la respuesta y me va a hacer la pregunta que corresponde a esa respuesta, okay? Recuerden que para hacer preguntas siempre el auxiliar va antes del sujeto. Okay? Go ahead. Vamos, niños. It's your turn.
finish finish guys are you there finish, finish. teacher okay perfect so let's check it in. please could you tell me the number two please did they check the package okay did they check the package no they didn't they didn't check the package okay perfect so number three who said number three who says number three did the car turn on game okay did the car turn on a game yes it is right yes it is oh yes the car turned it on again okay number four volunteers number four okay did we never 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 receive no no did we receive a copy of the receipt did we receive a copy of the receipt no, we didn't. We never received a copy of the receipt. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Number five. Teacher, no sería allí, did, did you, porque habla de ustedes, como sería nosotros, como ahí se está respondiendo entre nosotros, la pregunta sería como did you, de ustedes. Vaya, en ese caso sería, sí, es cierto, it's true, yes, you're right. Recibimos nosotros también, este puede ser también, o recibieron ustedes, puede ser de las dos formas. Aquí sí se vale, porque si utilizamos okay. el, el mismo pronombre, puede ser, did we receive, recibimos nosotros una copia de, del reporte de, o de, de qué, de lo que hicieron, ¿verdad? Right? No, nosotros no, nosotros nunca recibimos nada. O did you también aplica, ¿verdad? Recibieron ustedes. La copia del reporte, no, nosotros no recibimos nada, o nunca recibimos nada. También se vale, aplica. Thank you for knowing. Thank you for telling me also. Tienes razón. Las dos, pero las dos son válidas, se puede. Ok, vamos con la última, chicos. Number did five. Did he have a new tire? Ok, did he have a new tire? O did he buy, en este caso, ¿verdad? Did he buy a new tire? ¿Ok? ¿Compró él una, una nueva llanta o algo así, verdad? Right? Tire, sí, tire es una llanta. ¿Ok? Vamos a ver. Yes, he did. He bought a new tire. ¿Ok? Excellent. Thank you so much. Vale, eso es utilizando el did, ¿verdad? Acordemos que hay otras preguntas de specific information que vamos a ver más adelante. So what we are going to do is create a conversation, guys. Would you like to practice making a conversation or, we, or would you like to continue with the practice of the manual? Continuamos con el manual de chat. Bye, okay, perfect. No porque nos iba a poner las break rooms, pero siempre es de armar la conversación, utilizar el vocabulario, right? And those kind of things. I think it is not good for you right now, right? Later we can do that. Okay, so what we are going to do, we are going to read these following emails about customer problems. So you are going to read it. We are going to give five minutes because I think it is enough time, right, to do that. Just read it and then we're going to pass to the questions, okay? For example, who read the first one? Could you could you help me reading the, the, the email, please? ¿Quién me ayuda a leer el email? Vamos a dar cinco minutos para leer el email. Ok, Brandon, excelente. Thank you so much. Go ahead. Ok. To Peter, uh, how do you say, arroba, arroba. Se dice at. At, at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. Subject, complaining about a trip. Okay. From hr.r.gmail.com. Okay. Okay. Uh, last week, I had the chance to travel to Europe. 
company to another country. But to be honest with you, it was a bad experience because the bus that you assigned me in didn't have AC. It was a long trip and the bus was very slow. I am considering not traveling with you again because of the inconvenience I had. Okay. It didn't have AC. What does it mean of AC in this case? Air conditioner. Air conditioner, you're right. Okay, air conditioner. This is an, an abbreviation, right? Okay, perfect. ¿Qué pasó, chicos? A ver, ¿quién entendió la reading? ¿Qué pasó ahí en el email? What is the mail yeah. about? En el bus que viajó no tenía... Aire acondicionado. Aire acondicionado. Uh -huh. So the email is because he wants to complain about that, right? What happened yeah. during the travel, right? Or the trip. Él quería quejarse, ¿verdad? O presentar una queja de lo que pasó, ¿verdad? No le gustó, no había aire acondicionado. ¿Y qué más pasó? Era un viaje largo. Y the bus y el bus was iba slow. muy lento. It was a long trip and the bus was very slow, okay? And what is what did he do about that? What what the what did what did he was con, he consider about that? Okay, lo que uh, estaba considerando que no viajaría de nuevo. Again. No what viajar de nuevo con ellos okay. por el inconveniente que tuvo. Uh -huh. He was considering not to travel with them again because the inconvenience that he had. In that travel. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Bye. Ahora vamos con las preguntas, chicos. Thank you so much, guys. Where did the passenger go? ¿Dónde fueron los pasajeros? Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿A dónde iban los pasajeros? ¿O a para dónde estaba destinado el viaje? Another country, did you? To another country, right? Yeah. They went to another country. country. Okay, number two. What did the passenger consider it, it was a bad experience? For example? Because the bus is very slow and the bus, it don't have AC. Okay, perfect. Vaya, ya vamos a hablar de Lila, ¿verdad? Miren, super nice se los oyó la respuesta y está bien aplicada. Number, number three, what did the passenger send that email? ¿Por qué enviaron el email? ¿O con qué propósito ellos enviaron el email? ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Por una qué? A complaint because he complaint. wants to make he wanted because, to make a complaint because uh, they want to make a, they, okay they wanted to make ellos querían uh, hacer una una queja right? he wanted to make a complaint to the company right ellos querían hacer una queja o mandar o send a complaint to the company ellos querían enviar una queja O presentar, ¿verdad? Puede ser present a complaint to the company. Ellos querían presentar una queja a la compañía de viajes, ¿verdad? Ok, perfect. That's the point. Ok, thank you so much. Bye, mis niños. Eso es el propósito de estas preguntas, ¿verdad? El hacer que usted empiece a hablar. Ok, porque ahorita ya estamos pasando a otro nivel en el cual usted tiene que tratar de desarrollar su fluidez. ¿Y cómo lo va a hacer? Practicando lo aprendido, practicando lo que hemos estado viendo, que sea cortito, ¿verdad? Pero ahí vamos, miren, ya respondieron las preguntas y eso es bien bonito, ¿ok? Y está bien aplicado también, ¿ok? So, let's talk about information questions. This is the opposite of that question. So, you are going to ask for a specific information in this case. So, this is a brief explanation of what they consist. Remember that with the specific information questions just in past, you are going to use first the WH words and then you are going to use did. That in this case is the auxiliary verb. 
And then you are going to follow the structure or the normal structure that you follow with simple past questions, okay? For example, we have, what did you buy? Where did he fly to? When did he pay for the service? How did they find out the, of that promotion? I bought a vacation package. I flew, I flew to another country. We paid for a service last month. He found out about, about it on an internet, right? Estas son las preguntas, las respuestas cortas y estas son las preguntas, ¿verdad? Y esa es la estructura que vamos a seguir. Si se fijan, esa es la pregunta normal en pasado, en la estructura normal. The last short questions, right? Short answers questions. Y esto es lo que se les agrega a las specific information questions. Solamente usted le agrega lo que es la palabra que contiene la, la W antes del auxiliar. Eso es todo lo que va a hacer. ¿Ok? Y la respuesta pues ya es más larga, ¿verdad? Porque se utiliza generalmente, ¿verdad? Una explicación acerca de algo. Bueno, ok. So, let's start with the practice. Complete the emails using pro prepositions of time. Compare answers with a classmate. And what are the prepositions of time? ¿Se, rec se recuerdan las prepositions of time, guys? Last month, last week, last day, eh, two hours ago, dos horas hace rato, ¿verdad? Ya pasaron dos horas, o anteriormente, dos horas anteriormente, etcétera, etcétera, right? Or maybe you can say the last weekend, the last year, algo que especifique el tiempo en el cual pasó eso. Pero como ahorita lo estamos utilizando en pasado, usted va a utilizar solamente las que se utilizan last week, last day, last eh, weekend, last year, last month, etcétera, etcétera, ¿verdad? O tantas horas antes ¿verdad? de que esto pasara. En donde especifica el tiempo en el cual surgió la acción o se dio la acción. ¿Ok? ¿Es clear? ¿Qué vas a hacer? Es clear. Ok, perfecto. Let's see the example number one. What did you what? ¿Qué, se, ¿Qué podemos poner acá? What Complete did you eat email. last night? Ajá, bye. Vamos a completar el email, dice. Using preposition of time. Compare answer with the What, what hmm. did you eat last night? Okay, what did you eat? Or what did you send? Last... ¿Qué es lo que enviaste? Acuérdense que vamos a completar el email que tenemos por aquí. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Okay, what did you send? ¿Qué enviaste? What ah, did you send I sent. Ajá, uh -huh. what email. did you send? I sent a complaint. Okay. A complaint. Okay. ¿Qué enviaste la semana pasada? Ah, yo envié una queja. ¿Por qué? Ah, por esto y eso me pasó esto y esto y esto. ¿Verdad? Entonces, por ahí va la cosa. How do you, what? How do you resolve the problem? ¿Cómo resolvieron el problema? O cómo pasaste el viaje? How did you pass? How did you what? Pass the trip? ¿Cómo pasaste el viaje? Ah, I passed it bad because the bus eh, didn't have a conditioner or AC, right? And also it was so slowly and those kind of things, right? That's the way you're going to answer this. Okay? It's clear what you're going to do. Ahora ya más o menos. ¿Saben cómo vamos a hacer las preguntas referente al email que tenemos ahí arriba? Yes, teacher. Ok, perfecto. Entonces lo voy a dejar trabajar solitos. Ok, ya hicimos, digamos, las, no, las dos primeras lo pueden hacer así. Ahora es su turno de trabajar las otras tres. Ok, Go hey, teacher. The, the number three, for example, eh, why did you send the accomplice? ¿Por qué enviaste la queda? Exacto. También se puede.
finish, guys. Yes, teacher. Finish. <laughs> yes. <coughs> Bye. La número tres, chicos. ¿Cómo sería la número tres? Number three. What did you did you travel? Casi no se te escucha. Se te da bien allá. Why do you send why the complaint? Ah, with, why do you say the complaint? Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Gracias. Because, blah, 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 right? Number four. Volunteers, number four. Where where did you travel? Okay. The last week. Okay. Where did you another travel country. the last week? Okay, I traveled to another country. Okay, perfect. And the last one, number five. Who did you? Who do you say? I do. Who do you say? Mm. Who do you do on the trip? ¿Con quién hiciste el viaje o con quién fuiste? How did you go with? Okay. ¿Con quién fuiste? Ah, I went to, I went with my, what? ¿Con quién fue él? ¿Con quién fue él o fue él solo? Uh, I don't know. Maybe with the company. It doesn't explain, right? Maybe he went to a lounge, right? From the from the company, right? But the question is, who did you go with? ¿Con quién fuiste? Uh, I went to a lounge, right? Fui solo. Could be the answer, right? Okay. So, and the last activity, guys, just for finish, right? What you are going to do, tell a partner you a call you had, right? Pretend that the customer was very angry because of the bad service. So you tell your partner all the questions you ask to find a solution. Vaya, aquí vamos a trabajar en pareja. Si ustedes van a armar como una conversación, ¿verdad? Bueno, no una conversación, sino que solamente van a hacer las preguntas que usted le hizo al cliente que estaba enojado, ¿verdad? ¿Cuáles fueron las preguntas que usted le hizo para poder solucionar el problema? ¿Okay? ¿Qué quiere decir? Que ustedes me van a escribir pre preguntas referidas a la solución de un problema. ¿Ok? ¿Es clear? De un cliente. Puede ser de cualquier índole, right? Maybe a connections, internet connections, maybe a... What? A cell phone service, something like this, ¿verdad? Un, a un servicio telefónico o de teléfono, ¿verdad? Un paquete o algo así. ¿Cuáles fueron las preguntas que utilizó usted con el cliente para solucionar el problema? ¿Cuáles fueron las preguntas que usted le hizo? Usted puede adaptarlo a su lugar de trabajo, a su área de trabajo, ¿verdad? Tal vez puede ser que algunos utilicen el área de la ropa, ¿verdad? Que tal vez el cliente estaba enojado por un producto que no le salió bien. Entonces, ¿cuáles fueron las preguntas que usted le hizo? Ah, which is the product, ¿verdad? Uh, what is the problem with the product? Uh, would you like to change the product? Or did I, what? Something like this, right? You can use the, the vocabulary words that we were discussing before, right? Remember that you are going to speak in a polite way. You can use would, or you can use could, or you can use should, right? Or you can use WH words if you want also, right? What did the problem, for example? ¿Cuál fue el problema? Ah, with the product. Ah, ta, 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 y, y así, ¿verdad? Entonces, van a crear, crear las, las, las preguntas que posiblemente usted le hizo, ¿verdad? El cliente, ¿ok? Entre los dos. ¿Es clear? ¿O las hacemos aquí todos? Because of the time, right? 
por el tiempo. ¿Les parece? Ok, perfecto. Entonces, una podría ser, ¿cuál podría ser? A ver, denme ideas. Ah, what would you like to do? Ok, what would you like to do? ¿Qué le gustaría hacer? Change the product or uh, make, have a refund. ¿verdad? Tener un, un, ¿qué? Una, una devolución o cambiar el producto. Muy bien, puede ser una buena pregunta. Excelente, George. ¿Alguien más? ¿Someone else? Maybe would you like to occupy the warranty? Okay, maybe would you like to use the warranty, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, maybe would you like to use the warranty? Okay, perfect, excellent. Next, algo más? <clears throat> algo otra más? Which was in trouble? Okay, what was the problem? Okay, ¿cuál fue el problema, right? ¿Verdad? Hello. Por eso, ¿cuál fue el problema? What was the problem? Y también se aplica. Ajá, ¿qué más? What can you do in relation to expectations? Okay, what were your expectations? ¿Cuáles fueron sus expectativas, verdad? El producto. También se puede. O cuáles son sus expectativas en cuanto al producto, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es lo que usted quiere? What do you want or what do you want or what would you like to, to receive, right? ¿Qué le gustaría recibir? ¿Qué es lo que quería, verdad, en el producto? ¿Cuáles son las expectativas que usted necesitaba para el producto, verdad? Ok, muy bien, excelente, George. ¿Alguien más? ¿Someone else who wants to participate? No? Ok, vaya amigos. Entonces, les voy a dejar de tarea que piensen en algunas preguntas similares a las que hemos estado haciendo. Siempre teniendo en cuenta el caso que les explican acá o que les exponen acá. Van a hacerme cinco preguntitas, ok? Cinco preguntitas referidas a la solución de un problema, ¿verdad? O de un cambio de un producto o de un problema similar, ok? Para el día de mañana. Please. Vaya, nos vamos a quedar hasta acá. We are going to stop here and we are going to pass the list for a second time. Okay? Just give me some minutes. I'm going to stop to share this screen and I'm going to pass the list for a second time. Just give me some minutes to look for the list, please. By the way, do you have problems with the homeworks or you didn't have any problems with the homeworks for this weekend or for this week, last week? No. Okay, perfect. Let's start. Alex Enoch Ramirez Salazar. Here, teacher. Thank you. Ana Lisette Pérez Colindres. Ana Raquel Campos Ayala. Present, teacher. Thank you. Brandon Alexis Velázquez Ayala. Present, teacher. Thank you. Cristina Beatriz Rivera de Caravantes. Present, teacher. Thank you. Daniel Ernesto Abrego Brizuela. Thank you, Erika Lisset Ayala Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you, Fabiola Giselle Molina Saavedra. Okay, Francisco Ernesto González Boquín. Present teacher. Thank you, Italina Castro. Jennifer Guadalupe Rivas Rosales. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Jennifer. Jorge Adalberto Laines Díaz. Alberto. Yes, Jorge Alberto Leines Díaz. Thank you so much. Jose Edwin Escobar Posada. Present. Thank you. Karen Arely Torres García. Present. Thank you. Luis Eduardo Reyes. Nancy Carolina Saldaña Membreño. Present. Thank you. Nelson Arnoldo Revillaga Quintanilla. Oscar Daniel Castillo Ramos. Hoy oh, sí, Pablo Adalberto Juárez. 
Thank you, Salvador Wilfredo Cerón Palacios. Thank you, Teresa de Jesús Ramos Santos. Teresa hoy no se conectó. I don't know what happened with her. No sé qué pasó con Nita y con Teresa. Okay, perfect, guys. Any questions so far? Questions? Teacher, y la de en la parte final del examen, la parte cuatro, ¿qué le vamos a agregar en las dos preguntas? El would. El would. No me he fijado. Ya voy a, ya voy a, a inspeccionar este. Vamos a ver si me da unos minutitos. Lo podemos hacer. ¿Qué les parece? ¿O me mandas captura? Vaya, Tichosa. ¿Me mandas captura entonces? Sí, es que solo esa parte me falta la 4. ¿Alguien más tiene preguntas en cuanto al final exam? ¿No? Vaya, espérame entonces, Rich. Ahorita, Rich. Vamos a ver. Let me see. Vamos a ver parte 4. Next. 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 Right. Pasamos. ¿A dónde? En las primeras o las últimas. ¿En esas te refieres? Es la, la, las, las últimas, la cuatro y la cinco. Ajá, bueno. esas dos. Dice, complete the sentences using the words provide and the correct verb. Vaya, acá dice, if I, if I wake up late, I would be later for work. Or I, if I woke, si yo me, okay, if I wake, woke up late, Si yo me levanto tarde, ¿alguien que ya hizo eso le salió? Muy mal, muy mal, teacher. Bueno, es que este es de los condicionales, niños, y este tema no lo hemos visto todavía. Así que quizás lo vamos a dejar para después. ¿Ok? Porque sí está bien adelantado. Ya sería de la de los dos últimos días, si no estoy si no estoy equivocada. Sería del penúltimo día, del día lunes de la otra semana. Ok, entonces sí lo vamos a dejar hasta ahorita. Porque sí, eso ya está prácticamente de lo último. Igual que el so, such. Hay que verlo despacio, ok. Vaya, entonces lo vamos a dar hasta aquí. Si no, pues mándame captura y yo te respondo luego, ¿ok? Bye. Estamos. Ok, niños, feliz noche. Good night, everybody. And I see you tomorrow at the same time, the same, uh, the same channel, right? Don't forget to make the homework for this day and work on the homeworks that you have missing, right? You have missing and you are going to get the 100%. Okay. The, 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 okay, perfect. Thank you, Thank you so Good much. Night. Good, Good night, night everybody. Good See you. I know that it's Monday, but Thank you so much for being here.